What's the charge of an electron? Negative. And a proton. Okay? We want to calculate the Coulomb force. Just assume that the distance between the R is. That's the charge on an electron, and it's the same charge on a proton. One is positive, the other one is negative. So we want to calculate the force between these two charges. Okay? So what would this force? Um, what would be the force of the proton on the electron? Of course, it's going to be an attractive force. One is positive, the other is negative. So I would like to write the force of Q. Two on. Let's put the force of one on two. Okay. So let's calculate that. Coulomb's law. K. P one. Q two. Over. R. Square. Okay. The distance between them is R. So, K, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget this, 9.0, and sent to the next to the 9, Newton, meter square, divided by Coulomb square. So, 9.0 times 10 to the 9, Newton, meter <coughs> square, Coulomb square, I'm actually calculating the magnitude and uh, Q1 is 1.6 and mm -hmm. 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, C for coulombs, I 1.6 and 10 to the negative 19 coulombs again, same charge, same magnitude divided by 0 0.53 and 10 to the negative 10 meter, everything, square. Okay? So, let's uh, continue over here. What I like to do, I don't have any calculators, so what I do, I take all my numbers, I multiply my numbers 9.0 times 1.6 times 1.6. Take all the numbers times 10 to the, I have 9 here, minus 19 minus 19 is just going to give me what? Negative 29. Negative what? 29. Negative 29. Okay? Now watch this. Yes, I, put a negative <laughs> now, C times C. C squared. So that C times that C cancel out that C squared. Okay? That's what I have at the top. Newton meter squared divided by. I'm going to, I, I have to square everything in here. 0 0.53 times 0 0.53, okay, times 10 to the negative 20. How do I get 20? Oh, you square. 
What do I multiply? Because it's the same thing as adding, right? You guys see that? Okay, so that's how I got my 20, and I have to square my meter as well. What's this? Meter cancel. What am I left with? What, do, what, I, what, what should I have as my final unit? Newton, because it's a force, right? So it makes sense. So now, those of you who have a calculator, this times, this times, this gives this one. This times, this times, this. <coughs> Times ten. Well, let me move the number. This time, this. Same thing as eight point two times ten to the negative eight Newton. Okay. 